What's up everybody, it's your boy Alan Wade. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna to be stitching out a client's design. It's a barbecue design. They, uh, I previously did this design and then they contacted me again and asked me to add another component onto it. So um, charge them a little small fee for adding that component to it and this is how it came out guys. This is what we're gonna be doing. Before we get started, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Don't forget to visit the merch store, alanaway.com, and buy yourself some channel merch. And you see the SE600 right here. It's available on Amazon, again, for a low price of $390. So you guys better jump on it right now. Jump on it right now because it will become sold out again, as it always does, because I continue to make these videos on it, and people like this machine. And it's just a good machine. It's just a good machine. It takes a licking and keeps on ticking, and it goes on and on and on and on, and you can create way more money with it than the machine costs so that's my whole thing about this machine don't believe me it's okay um you'll just be watching these videos and you won't have yours and everybody else will so um yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that so without further ado let's get into this design guys yes yes you see the se 600 sewing and embroidery machine that is right let us navigate to the screen so we can select our design Press that, uh, what's that called? The uh, button for the memory drive, USB button, that's right. Chroma Design, press that right there. Let's select our design that we're doing, this one. And guys, this right here says it's gonna take 41 minutes to stitch it out. That's because, that's because the client wanted a background on this and um, the background takes 26 minutes. The rest of the design is not that long, but just the background, 26 minutes to stitch out. So let's hurry up and get this started. I am positive that we are going to need to switch out the, um, the uh, what do you call it, a bobbin at the bottom while this is stitching out. So uh, let's just start this up because it's gonna take a long time. All right, let's start this out. And guys, once again, hurry up to Amazon. If you want your SE600, one thing is for sure, those people that wanted it, as they start purchasing it, it will slowly but surely get sold out. So grab yours today. See the SE600 doing the background stitch of this patch. If you wanna create a patch, it takes a little bit longer than a regular, regular uh, design stitching, just uh, stitching on regular text into a shirt. But patches are dope. You can make them small, you can make them big and you can use them by themselves to sew on to uh, merchandise, to uh, sell, um, to make iron-on patches. They're just dope. I like patches. So, yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing so far. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'm gonna let a little, a little of this stitch out. I'm gonna show you guys when I switch to bobbin and how to switch to bobbin just in case some of you guys might be watching for the first time, but this part is going to be a long time, so I'm gonna let it stitch out a little bit, then I'll be right back. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. All right, guys, the design is coming along splendidly. You see the SE600 doing its thing, stitching out that circle oh so wonderfully of the patch. This is a large patch, guys. You can make your patches smaller if you choose to. Once again, I digitize using the program, the new program that I use is Chroma Lux. Quite expensive, but it's very much worth it. I'd advise you at some point in time, if you haven't invested in digitizing software yet, to go ahead and just grab it because you're gonna need it, because you're gonna wanna make your own designs and you're gonna wanna experiment. Learning curve, but you're gonna wanna do it. So um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna let this stitch out some more guys once again. Give this video a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed already, once again, also, well, I didn't mention this yet, um, if you want your design digitized, shoot me an email, adubproductions at gmail.com. In that email, it should contain a picture of your logo or your image. If I'm capable of doing it, I'll respond with a estimate, with a fee rather, how much it's gonna cost you, 
If I'm not capable of doing it, I'll respond and let you know that I'm not capable of doing it and my skills are not there yet. But we're working our way up and I appreciate you guys. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And um, yeah, let's keep on going. All right, guys, as you guys can see, it now says bobbin thread is almost empty. So now we have to uh, change the bobbin thread out. And to do that, what we are going to do is press the cut button right there to cut the thread, raise the embroidery foot, slide underneath, boom, boom, get that out of the way. Open up this part right here, pop up this little door. Get this old bobbin out of here, out with the old, and guess what? We're going in with the new. Just to make this clear, this is the tail end right here on the left side of the bobbin. Drop it down into the hole and follow the little diagram. Just grab it, follow the little diagram. There's a little diagram on the machine for pretty much every function that you would want to do. And that's it. Make sure that's in there properly replace that just like that over here acknowledge okay drop it back down the press a foot and keep it going just like nothing ever happened guys yeah look at that that simple to change the uh bobbin that simple all right, so as you guys can see, we're almost done, more than 75% um, done, the back layer of the patch. All right, and this is just the backing of the patch. It tells you how long of a stitch out this is. Yeah, 41 minutes to make one patch. But it's okay, because that's what they wanted, and it's gonna look dope on whatever they decide to put it on, or if they decide to just make patches separately, it's gonna look awesome. A-Dub Productions. All right, just about done with this part of the design. And the SE600 is doing the last two stitches. This is gonna be one right here, and this is gonna be two right here. And that should be about, what, three? Up, oh, just to seal it up, and that looks good. Oh, four, nice and sealed. Oh, five. Oh, we can't even see where it stopped at. And it is done. Guys, now it's time to change colors. And right now, the remaining is just nine minute stitch out, then a six minute stitch out. So we're gonna put in some like a orangey color and then we're gonna put in a black color again. All right, so let me just zoom out so you guys can see how I change this right here. Uh, do it the same on every video, but you know, it's new people watching sometimes, so take that out. Just gonna put it to the side. Gonna um, wrap it up real fast and put it to the side because we're gonna be using it again in just one moment. Go into my handy dandy embroidery kit. Should have had my thread ready, but I didn't. Last two videos have been like that. All right, I'm just gonna grab any color right now. It's kind of like this green color. And I'm just gonna use it for the sake of the design. And like I like to tell you guys, just because it's asking for one color on the screen doesn't mean that's the color that you can, you have to use, all right? And just like I'm showing you guys for the sake of carrying on the video and keeping things moving, I just grab any color real fast. All right, so I'm gonna feed the rest of this through right here. And I'm gonna clip it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and get it started right there with this part of the design. This part should be interesting to watch. This is the bulk of the design right here. And what I'm interested in seeing is how this stitches out on top of the black thread because this, this text right here is very heavy so that it's legible. And so far, so good. What you wanna watch out for is, um, you wanna make sure your machine doesn't jump. I'm learning that. Uh, as I go along, if, you, if it jumps, that means you have too much density, um, like right now. So I'm jumping a little bit, but as long as you don't see any um, white thread, any bobbin thread peeking through, then you should be fine relatively, all right? See how good and legible the font, the text is stitching out, looks good. All right, so that's what you wanna pay attention to also. 
And the bigger the font, the better it's gonna look, the more legible it's gonna look, the cleaner you can get it to look, obviously, guys. So, alanaway.com, send a picture of your design, and I'll let you know if I can digitize it. Only thing um, I don't like about these small machines, like the SE600, PE800, is they don't do any trim stitches. And after playing around with my Rakoma MT1501, um, you just appreciate the trim stitches getting done for you. It looks so much cleaner, it's so much nicer, but it's okay. You know, you gotta start from somewhere. So guys, if you're in the market for one of these machines, Amazon affiliate link down in the description below. Use my Amazon affiliate link and purchase your SE600 now before they're gone. What up, Dub Nation? Please hit that like button so more A-Dub videos will be found in the YouTube algorithm. Please, do it now. All right, when we jump to one part to the other part like this, we are going to want to stop the machine and make our trim stitch, all right? Because we don't want to stitch over top of, you know, as close as I can, just clip that out and keep it going. We don't want to st stitch over top of uh, other stitches because it makes for a sloppy looking design, all right? Yeah. Looking good so far though. SE600 is doing this thing. I'm very proud of um, how far I've come with this machine. But um, even back when I first started, I still did a good job, but now I'm doing a better job and I'm understanding um, some embroidery techniques better. Still got a lot, of, lot to learn though, especially, especially, especially when it comes to, look at that jumping, especially when it comes to small text. On a mission with that, guys, and we're gonna get there, all right? A-Dub Productions. And this part is done. It's time to stitch out the last part of this specific part of the design. The last part of this part of the design. <laughs> yeah, time to stitch that out. And then we'll be done with this color and we'll do the border and we'll pretty much be done with the whole design, guys. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, I think this is dope to put on jacket, to put on, um, your staff's clothing um, to advertise for your business, just to get brand awareness and people looking at the logo. Um, because we know that it works in advertising when people are attracted to and people want to uh, visit things, patronize things that they're used to seeing. So the more you create that brand awareness, the more you create that visual stimulation it connects with the brain and we don't even know that it's connecting with the brain it's just something that happens and um, people start to gravitate towards that thing because it's they're familiar with it whether they know it or not so uh, brand awareness is very important guys look at the SE 600 stitching out this design helping this person create their brand awareness yes could be you next. Finishing up this part of the design right here and then we're gonna switch back to the black color. Let's switch back one more time and wrap this up. Up, out, wrap it around, make it nice and neat. Put back on our handy dandy spool saver. Product links in the description below to Amazon where you can purchase some spool savers for yourself. All right in and once you do this a few times you'll be just as proficient in threading this machine as i am guys believe it or not i promise you you will all right well look at that as proficient as i am i just screwed that up don't even know where the thread is hold on let me have a seat let me get up in here <laughs> see what i done did let me show y'all what I done did too, because I don't know where this thread is. Where, where it go? Okay, I see it. All right. Boom. Bring it back out here. I don't know what I did. Don't know what I did. All right, boom. 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 There we go. Grab my thing. 
pull the rest of the thread through. Sheesh. All right. Trim this. All right. Hope y'all saw that, what I did. And then um, press the button. Push that foot down. Turn that the start color. And push the button so we can get started. Let's see. Running, stitch around the whole design. Looks like that's way off center. But we're gonna see as long as it covers up the border, that's all that matters. But yeah, that's way off center. Let's see how big that stitch is. And as long as the stitch is big, then um then we're fine. There we go. All right, nice, big, bold stitch is what I was looking for, and that is exactly what is happening, guys. Big border for the win. Big border for the W, guys. And I like when designs have a big border like this, um, especially when it's patches, because it just makes it look better, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. It makes it look a lot better to me. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I think it looks better. All right, so I'm gonna let this stitch out and I'll be right back. A-Dub Productions. So everybody, we are all done with this stitch out. Let us take it out and see what we have here. All right, let me clean it up real fast. I'll be right back. A-Dub Productions. All right, everyone, so this is our design. I'm gonna tell you what I like, what I don't like, and what I did to correct what I didn't like, all right? First of all, this little white part peeking through right here, what I did was I went into the software and I um, pulled uh, the border up a little bit so that this border overlaps with the border of the background stitch a little bit more. I pulled that up. And also what I did was um, this right here, the border of the background right here, I don't like the fact that you can kind of see some white. What you can do to fix that is increase the density, but if you increase the density, it makes it a longer stitch out for the client, wasting more threads. So what I did was I shrunk the entire design down, just shrunk it down a little bit. And when I shrunk it down a little bit, I decreased the, some of the density on the letters because uh, I was experiencing, while this was stitching out, a little bit of jumping. Um, the uh, needle uh, pulling, up the, uh, pulling up the thread, pulling up the whole thing as it was embroidering. So that's going to decrease that. Um, so yeah, made the design smaller, which is going to make this look darker because the stitches are going to be close together. Move the circle in, the circle border in a little bit more so it can overlap around the edge where there's a gap and I decreased the density of these letters so, so it um, could eliminate the bouncing guys. Um, so that's how you rectify some things when, um, after you got your stitch out. But overall, I think it looks good. Um, and I think the client is going to be very, very, very happy with their design. Especially it's gonna be smaller, it's gonna take less time to stitch out and stuff like that. All right guys? I want you guys to see that I stitched this out several times. This being the first time I did it. And of course we had that gap here that I didn't like. We redid it, did it the second time. And the second time we had a gap. We moved the gap from the bottom to the top. And that created that. That's why it's important to stitch files over again so that you can make sure that you're giving somebody something quality. And then the third time, um, I couldn't resist myself. Had to get it perfect. Um, that's just, a thing that I have, I gotta prove and I gotta show myself and I gotta be assured that you guys are getting something quality, okay? So um, this is the third stitch out right here and it came out great. Client has it in the email, so I hope they are happy with their file. I like it a lot. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, there you have it, design finished. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Sometimes when you're doing things, you gotta be really diligent about your work ethic and the uh, amount of effort that you put in to uh, get things to look the way you would want them to look if you were the customer, all right? So with that being said, you guys saw all what I went through to get this to um, stitch out properly and give the customer something that they would be satisfied with, and that's the same thing that I would do with you. 
Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Follow me on Instagram, instagram.com backslash Productions. Visit the merch store, alanaway.com to buy yourself some channel merch to help support the channel. Pick up some embroidery files. Use my Amazon link to purchase your brother SE600 or your PE800 or your SE1900. Use my Amazon link down below. All the links down below, guys. Facebook.com backslash Productions. All that good stuff. I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. While I listen to the rest, when you're rocking with the best, baby.